everyone, and welcome to another episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. That's right, I'm Johnny B. And I'm Allison. And this week we have some fresh news on Disney Infinity, and we are also going to show you how to make the most of your Disney Infinity experience. Woohoo! So let's talk about the top five. After a short holiday break, we're back and ready to count down the latest top five. You guys gave it your all and created some truly impressive toy boxes. We loved your interpretations of the Big Hero 6 universe, and your creativity was just astounding. Well, let's dig in and count them down, John. Booyah! All right, let's get into this week's top five countdown, going in style. Woohoo! In the number five position, we give you Baymax's flight created by Brock C. Test Baymax's thrusters by flying through all the rings, then scan the city for the man in the kabuki mask. This is a test of skill and speed and will leave you feeling invigorated. And at number four, we bring you Baymax's test created by F. Daniel IX. It's time to test Baymax's new abilities. Complete the three tests to ensure Baymax is in tip top shape. Which one did you guys like best and why? Tell us below in the comments or on the forums. And getting closer to the top at number three, we give you Baymax Extreme Soccer created by Pirate Steven. Baymax would like to show you what he's learned about soccer. Pass the soccer maze test and then see how many goals you can score under the Baymax arena. How high do you think you can score? Tell us your results and maybe share a few tips with the community. And in the number two position, we give you the ultra cool San Francisco Rescue created by Mighty Giants. Guys, this is your chance to help the team of heroes known as Big Hero 6. Very skillful toy box creation, Mighty Jitus, and we especially love the opening animation of Baymax. It's one of the first times we've seen someone take a toy box and actually animate something. Awesome work! This was totally wicked. And now, we bring you the best of the best for the week. Coming in at number one, it's... Soccer, Soccer HD! Created by Infinifan1927. Baymax needs your assistance. Help by bringing the soccer ball to him. This is a real nail biter and the level design is just ingenious. It reminds us of some of the old school arcade hits of yesteryear and we just love it. Congratulations Infinifan1927, you really rocked it. Yo, those toy boxes were amazing! They were truly awesome. All right guys, well it's time to give you your next challenge and we present to you the Disney Parks 2.0 Challenge. Now look, we know that some of you have tried your hand at presenting the sights and sounds of the Disney Parks and Disney Infinity 1.0, but this time we're going to give you a chance to flex your 2.0 chops and get totally crazy with all the new tools and features and the all new toy box mode. Can you even handle the potential here? These toy boxes are going to be huge. They're going to be epic. You guys, show us what you got. And remember to get them in by Wednesday, December 10th at noon Pacific time. All right, guys, it's time for your trivia question. And what do we have for them, John? I've got a question, Allison. And I've got an answer. Well, I want to know if you guys know what the answer is. So, answer goes in the comments. Don't forget, your trivia question for this week is, can you name all of the Disney Infinity Originals figures? Now, I'm looking for all the figures that we have announced, guys. So go ahead and write your responses down in the comments or post on our forums. Hey, this is Quinn, a.k.a. Quinjitsu. And this is Patrick, a.k.a. Papa Echo. We're from the Toy Box Community Mentor Team, and this is the Toy Box 2.0 Edge. Here we talk about the features of the new toy box that we think are super cool. Today we'll highlight the locator. I love this new toy so much, my firstborn child will be named Locator Johnson. Boy or girl, doesn't matter. Hmm, that's, uh, that's interesting. Anyway, the, the locator toy doesn't do anything by itself, but it can be connected to many, many different creativity toys. Have you ever wanted an enemy or friend to spawn somewhere other than a generator plate? Connect it to a locator and your wish will come true. You can connect it to the effects generator to make explosions, purple smoke, green flame, and more appear wherever you want. Multiple locators attached to one effects generator will multiply these effects. You can connect the locator to doors between toy boxes to specify where the player appears when they go from one world to the next. You can use locators to specify what direction weather vanes will blow and where a whirlwind will send someone flying. You can connect them to the challenge maker to determine where players appear to start a game. Connect it to the target camera to get that perfect shot. Is there anything the locator toy can't do? Well, I keep telling it to wash my car, but so far it's failed me. But I guess every superhero has its weakness. <laughs> That's it for this time. This has been Toybox 2.0 Edge. Catch you later. Hey, Disney Infinity 2.0 gamers. Today I'm going to show you my new Nemo submarine toy box I made for the Disney Parks Challenge. 
In this toy box, you need to defend Nemo Submarine from an incoming minefield by using the cannon base toy. You need to shoot the mines before they hit the submarine. You can either destroy them or deflect them enough so that they don't hit the submarine. Here's a look at all the creative toys needed to make this work. Each wave of mines is set up using an action button, repeater, timer, and randomizer. To make the path of the mines travel to where I want them, I had to use two weather vane toys. One weather vane toy, which is pointing straight up, is set to a power of 30, which makes the dropped mines lose their downward momentum and eventually hover. The other weather vane toy, which is pointed horizontally, is set to a power of 5, so that the mines will slowly float towards the player and the submarine. To simulate the mine's impact on the submarine, I use the front end trigger volume hooked up to an effects generator which generates an explosion across the viewport by using a handful of locators. Good luck blasting! Here's a quick trick I use a lot for placing the customizable cluster pieces. If there's a spot, like this one here, that you can't fit a large version of a cluster you want, you can actually place a smaller customization of it there instead. And then retheme it to the one you want. There it is. Have fun out there and good luck with your toy boxes. First up on Facebook, it's a very happy birthday at Beth's house with this Disney Infinity birthday cake. We agree with the comments, Drax looks ready to cut that cake. Over on Twitter, at Interim Gamer is already getting into the holiday spirit. He captures the screen for the 2.0 toy box teaching reindeer how to fly. And another awesome Disney Infinity 2.0 edition screen from Jared R who says, okay wow, Hulk is all kinds of awesome, yeah, Hulk smash! Now check out this massive power disc collection on Instagram. Just the anime is only missing three power discs from the Disney Originals collection. That is truly impressive. Also on Instagram, MadSwag12345 posted this classic shot of Donald and Mickey saying, Mickey and Donald, best friends since black and white. We love seeing your Disney Infinity figure photos, collections, game screenshots, unboxing videos, and everything else you guys are posting. Remember to share with us using hashtag Disney Infinity for a chance to be featured on the next episode. Well, everybody, that's it for this week's episode. But we're going to be back next week with a brand new installment of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV for your viewing pleasure. That's right. And be sure to start jamming on your Disney Parks Challenge Toy Boxes. And be sure to submit them by Wednesday, December 10th, at noon Pacific time if you want a chance for the top five. I want a chance. When do I have to get them in? Wednesday, December 10th, at noon Pacific time. If I ask you one more time, would you say it exactly the same way? Wednesday, December 10th, at noon Pacific time. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. Checking out this episode, and remember, if you can dream if it, you can do it.